So here are the rules for balancing a redox equation. Uh, we're doing this in acidic conditions. So you need to write the skeleton equations of the reduction and oxidation half reactions, balance for everything other than hydrogen and oxygen, balance for oxygen by adding water where required, balance for hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions where required, balance for charge by adding electrons, then you need to get the same number of electrons in the reduction and oxidation half equations, then you add together and cancel out anything on both sides of the arrow, and then at the end you check. So let's do an example. So we're going to balance uh, this equation here. So the first step, we need to write the oxidation and reduction half equations. So I'm going to start with technetium. So technetium goes to TeO3, 2 minus, and NO3 minus goes to N2. All right, so I've done the half equations. Now what I need to do is uh, balance for everything other than oxygen and hydrogen. So if we look, we've got uh, one technetium, one technetium, so the top equation is okay. The bottom one, we've got two nitrogens on the left and only one on the, uh, two nitrogens on the right and one only one on the left, so I need to double my number of nitrate ions. Next step is we need to balance uh, for oxygen by adding water molecules where required. So in our first equation here, we've got uh, three water, uh, three oxygen molecules on the right hand side, so I need to add three water molecules to the left hand side. In our bottom one, we've got uh, two, so two times three, so we've got six oxygens on the left hand side and only four on the right hand side, so I need to add uh, two water molecules on the right. Next step is we need to balance for hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions where required. So we've got uh, six hydrogens on the left hand side here and none on the right. So I need to add six hydrogen ions to the right. Now bottom one, we've got uh, four hydrogens uh, on the right hand side. So I need to add four hydrogen ions to the left. Next step is we need to balance for charge by adding electrons. So if we look at our top equation here, we've got uh, no charge anywhere, so our charge is zero on the left-hand side. If we look at our right-hand side, we've got uh, minus two here and six H pluses here. So we've got plus six minus two, so our total charge is plus four. So to get the charges the same on both sides, I need to add four electrons to the right-hand side of our uh, top equation. Look at our bottom equation, I've got a charge of zero on the right hand side, and then on the left hand side I've got uh, two negatives there and plus four, so my total charge on this side, so minus two plus four is plus two, so that means I need to add two electrons uh, to the left hand side of the bottom equation. The next step is we need to uh, get the number of electrons the same. So if I look at the top, I've got four electrons at the top but only two down the bottom, so I need to times everything down the bottom by two. So now I've got four electrons plus four nitrate ions plus eight hydrogen ions going to two and two O four plus four water molecules. So I'm just using it as if it's a mathematical equation. I'm multiplying everything down the bottom by two. Next step, we need to treat these equations as if they're mathematical equations and cancel out things that are on both sides of the arrow and then add them together. So if we have a look at our equations here, you should be able to get rid of the electrons. If you can't get rid of the electrons, you've done something wrong. Uh, we've got three water molecules on the left of the arrow at the top and four down the bottom. So we can get rid of all three up here and we've got one water molecule left on the right hand side down the bottom. We can also get rid of our hydrogen ions, or some of them. So we've got six hydrogen ions here, eight down the bottom, so that leaves me with two hydrogen ions. And now we write out our uh, what we have left over. So we've got technetium plus four nitrate plus two hydrogen ions goes to TeO3 two minus plus N2O4 plus H2O. Alright, next step is we need to check to make sure we've got the right, same on both sides of the equation. So first thing we're going to do is check for charge. So I've got uh, minus 4 down here and plus 2 over here. So minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So we've got a total charge of minus 2. And on our right hand side over here we've got minus 2. So our charge is minus 2 on both sides. So that's a good, uh, good thing to see. Uh, next we need to check that we've got the right number of all the atoms there. So we've got one technetium, one technetium. Four nitrogens. Ah, I forgot the two down there. Ah, there we go. So I forgot that too. So two times two. So we've got four nitrogens. 
I've got four times three, so 12 oxygens. I've got uh, eight plus three is 11, plus one is 12 oxygens. Two hydrogen is two hydrogens. So everything's balanced there. So that one is done. So we've done the redox equation for those two and added them together.